Now, track and field fans, someone in the track and field space had the audacity of saying that it is over for Elaine Thompson Hero of Jamaica. And quite understandably, the fans and friends of Elaine Thompson Hero took this gentleman to task. They were super upset. As a matter of fact, I can call one of the names, one of the biggest names. Asafa Powell of Jamaica took to social media to express his disgust with the statement. He went as far as saying that he has lost respect for the person who said it. Um, I lost a lot of respect for the person who said it. Of course, it was no less a person than Otto Bolden, the former coach of Brianna Williams of Jamaica, who was a young sensation in the sprinting world in Jamaica and on the international scene. Now, Otto Bolden, in an interview, expressed that based on what he's seen from Elaine Thompson here, she's done. It's over for her. In, in my words, it's time for Elaine to put a cap on things and call it a day. Is it up from here or down from here? And if the answer is down, um, I think I think there were some mistakes made with um, with Elaine. I mean, but I think more than anything else, it's it's that she, her her body physically is done. That was where this famous sport commentator went with this situation concerning Elaine Thompson here. Now, as I've mentioned earlier, Asafa Powell jumped right to the defense of Elaine Thompson here. And quite reasonably because Asafa Powell's name was used as a reference in the statement by Mr. Bolden. Now, his statement was that he knew that Asafa Powell was done and he recognized it and he pointed it out and it played out that Asafa Powell never vindicated himself and it played out just as Mr. Atto had predicted. I remember when Asafa Powell was I think he's forever on 99 or 98 sub 10 and, um, and you know he was going after this last the last two sub 10s or the last sub 10s to get the 100 like, it's never gonna happen they were like ah and Otto Bolden such a damn hater I'm like you can call me what you want I know the 100 when the body has had enough when it's done it's done so Asafa Powell did not like that any at all not just for Elaine Thompson here but the fact that he was somewhat shaded by Otto Bolden's comments and he came out and he expressed all that he was expressing but here is what I want to add to this conversation that statement made by Otto Bolden I seriously think that it was too strong of an argument that was made and it could have been a bit more polished and the, or maybe you could just say it a little bit more diplomatic because the truth of the matter is no one knows exactly what is going to transpire no one can definitively say that Elaine Thompson here will never come back to her winning ways of course you can predict it and it comes to pass but there is no guarantee and there is no surety Asafa Powell declared that at a point in time where Elaine is struggling with her career, this was quite an immature move from the commentator. He thought that maybe as a Caribbean person, Otto Bolden should have been putting a lot more support behind the Caribbean girl, Elaine Thompson Hero. I want to inject right here that we don't want to get emotionally clouded because of who the statement was made about. But let's dissect the statement a little bit. The first question or the most important question that I would like to ask right here. Is there any merit or could there be any merit to what Mr. Bolden was saying? Could it work out that Elaine Thompson has in fact seen her best years? Now, as I've said before, let us not 
allow our emotions as Jamaicans or as fans of Elaine Thompson here to really blind our eyes and not allow us to look into the situation. I'm saying that the statement was pretty raw and it came at a point in time where it could possibly could have possibly caused Elaine a lot more distress and frustration based on the fact that she was struggling so hard to perform she was struggling so hard to find her way and she was just not finding it but looking through what mr bolden said taking in the factors that surround this entire situation elaine will have to work very hard to ensure that that statement does not fulfill on her the age factor is one of the biggest things that Elaine has to face right now. The truth is, based on track and field age, Elaine Thompson here is not young again. She's at a place where it's highly looking as if she will soon have to step away from the sport. People will argue that a certain athlete who I'm not going to call her name right now she did it and she has been there for a very very long time so why can't elaine thompson do the same and it's very possible for elaine to do the same but another factor that we have to take into place or we have to consider is that elaine is an athlete who has a lot of injury problems and more than the persons that they want to compare her to from the get-go she has been struggling with the achilles injury and she has not been able to rid herself of it. The best we have seen was where her former coach found some way to figure it all out. Mm -hmm. Her first coach, or her former coach I should say, managed to find a way to handle and to deal with Elaine's situation and bringing her to a point where in spite of being injured, she could still perform and perform at a very very high level to the point where elaine came so close to be the record holder and of course some consider elaine thompson here to be the rightful owner of the 100 meter world record but that's a story for another time so in all fairness with the age and injury factors considered Elaine is going to have a very hard time back to the top of the game. That's just the plain truth. Now, as far as I'm concerned, I don't think that it's over for Elaine Thompson here. But personally, I have something that is bugging my mind for a while now. I've been thinking about it and I'm going to share it right now. I'm thinking about Elaine and her new coach. And somehow I just get the feeling that they are not the perfect match. I'm just not getting that type of energy from Elaine Thompson here as yet. I know it's still early days with that coach-athlete relationship. But I'm not seeing that type of fire from Elaine Thompson here being with Coach Ronaldo. That's just my opinion. You can disagree or if you want to agree, it's, it's a free space. But I think for Elaine to truly find herself in the track and field space again and to be as dominant or even to be considered as a serious threat, she needs to find a different coach from the coach that Shelly and Fraser Price shares. I just do not think the idea is one of the most ideal setup for Elaine and Shelly to be in the same camp with the same coach i kind of find it conflicting based on the whole issues between the two athletes and their coach and all of that kind of stuff i honestly believe that when elaine made that move to go to coach Ronaldo walcott she was adding to her counting number of mistakes i personally think it's another mistake that elaine is making there are so many other coaches and as Stephen Francis have said, Elaine would do better with an international coach. And one of the reasons why I think he might be saying that is based on the type of treatment that Elaine needs to stay healthy 
he's not seen Ronaldo at the level to offer that kind of service not that he's not a good coach but the equipment and the, the money and the program and all that is needed to keep Elaine in optimal shape Stephen Francis in my opinion does not seem to believe that she's getting it or she can get it where she's currently at and I personally want to support that I think it's a bad fit for Elaine Thomas here it's a bad fit but in spite of all that is happening right now I don't see why we should say that it's over for her it's not over until it's over she has been doing great all these years and if she can find herself again in terms of a good coach and good management of her physical issues she will do well again but I just want to say that time is against her in a very very serious way and if she does not get it right next year it's going to be very very difficult to come back from that and that's if she ever gets to come back that's just the truth